degrees at 8 o'clock on this Saturday, August 12th. I'm Kathleen Marple Kelb, and here's what's happening. Two guys on a scooter are facing charges after police say they fired at officers in the Bronx. They were arrested after a wild chase into Manhattan. Get ready for the rough stuff. Chance for severe storms today. A lot of AccuWeather coming up. Grim new reports from Hawaii. New evacuations in West Maui. The death toll has reached 80. They're back. Are you ready for the return of the supermodels? Yanks win. Mets lose. Giants lose in preseason. 10 10 wins AccuWeather. Warm, more humid, sun and clouds. Storms late, maybe heavy. The high 85, but the real feel near 90. Windy Sun 801, traffic and transit now. Here's two hours. Kathleen, southbound side of the Van Wick in Queens, just loaded up because of construction. It's off of the Whitestone Expressway right by Northern Boulevard. And here's what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels. There is an accident heading into the Bronx at the Whitestone Bridge. That's causing a real slow go. Avoid this altogether. Stick with the Throsnick Bridge instead. And heading into Staten Island at the Bayonne Bridge. Fire department activity takes out the right lane. The Gothel Bridge looks good. So does the Outer Bridge crossing now. We did have some construction heading into New Jersey, but that has been cleared. Now, heading into Manhattan, Summer Street Festival is on. So we do have the ramp from the Brooklyn Bridge ramp to Center Street closed for that festival. And at the outbound side of the George Washington Bridge, still clearing that road work underneath the apartments. So that's causing delays from the Crossbond Expressway approach. In Brooklyn, the eastbound side of the BQE just loaded up from the Prospect to the Brooklyn Bridge. And then further east, there's construction on the ramp to the Grand Central and the Westbound Belt Parkway slows down on the ramp to the Verrazano Bridge. Here's what we see on Long Island's Big Three, a good ride on the LIE, the Southern and the Northern. Traffic is sponsored by Security Dodge. Traffic and transit every 10 minutes on the ones. Breaking traffic alerts. Know if they happen. I'm still out there. 10, 10 wins on 92.3 FM. Make this the summer event is live at Security Dodge. So listen up all you small businesses, contractors, delivery services, painters. We got you. Long Island's commercial truck headquarters has the largest and best selection of new ProMasters and ProMaster cities. Our prices will not be beat. Shop 24 7 securitydodge.com. Two men are facing charges after police say they fired at officers from a scooter overnight in the Bronx. This started just after 11.30. Police say the officers at 1045 Soundview Avenue saw two guys on a scooter firing guns. Officer tried to approach, scooter sped off. Later, another officer saw the same scooter and tried to approach, and that time the men shot at him. They missed and kept going into Manhattan. Finally, the scooter hit a car with a civilian inside at East 127th Street and Madison Avenue. Civilian wasn't hurt. Suspect suffered leg injuries. They were arrested and charges are pending. Wind news time, 8.03. It could be an interesting afternoon with humidity and the threat of severe storms returning. Let's get the latest live with AccuWeather meteorologist Matt Benz. And certainly not feeling like a day that will include the threat for severe thunderstorms later in the afternoon, Kathleen. But things are going to change very quickly over the next few hours with rising humidity levels, especially afternoon. And that will lead to a thunderstorm or two as later this afternoon into the first part of tonight. Those storms later on today can produce a threat for locally damaging wind gusts, as well as a risk for flooding downpours. And we're especially looking at areas north and west of the city, Hudson Valley and northwest Jersey suburbs. So again, later this afternoon into this evening, keep an eye on the sky. This activity comes to an end later on tonight. Kathleen? Of course, whatever the weather brings. Stay with 1010 Winds for all the info you need. We'll get you through. NYPD wants your help finding about a dozen young people who were wanted in the brutal beating of a 15-year-old on an MTA bus in the Bronx. This happened around 10 p.m. on August 2nd. Police say the boy was on a BX-36 bus near Southern Boulevard and East 176th Street in Crotona Park East. The crew of teenagers, males and females, just jumped him and started punching and kicking him. He was taken to St. Barnabas Hospital in serious but stable condition. Police now say he is not cooperating with them. Suspects got off the bus, ran into Crotona Park. Police have released bus surveillance video, and they urge anybody with info to call Crime Stoppers. Winds News Time, 804. A possible new place for migrants, Fort Wadsworth on Staten Island. The Post reports Mayor Adams is eyeing the former military base to house some of the thousands of asylum seekers in the city. I'm talking to the Department of Homeland Security about leasing the site. It is said to be one of several possible sites. Fort Wadsworth is currently run by the U.S. Park Service as a historic site, though the Army Reserve does train there. Meanwhile, one of the mayor's own commissioners is said to be circulating a petition calling on the city to drop a plan to set up a shelter near a sports fields on Randall's Island. 
City reports that Commissioner Tina Silver and Worker Protection Commissioner Bill Devera Minuga is circulating a petition in her volunteer capacity as Commissioner for Kids Soccer League, which plays nearby. As the crisis continues, Mayor Adams met with White House and Congress.
this is an important notice to consumers facing $10,000 or more in credit card debt, medical bills, or other unsecured debt. You may not be required to pay it all back because there are special programs now in effect that will significantly reduce the amount you will owe if you qualify. This is not bankruptcy or a debt consolidation loan. These programs, which the credit card companies like to keep secret, exist to aid American consumers struggling with overwhelming credit card debt by offering tremendous savings and real debt relief. Accredited Debt Relief has established a special hotline for you to call and learn what savings you qualify for. They've helped qualify consumers with over a billion dollars in debt and are A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau. So don't wait. Get the relief you need during these hard economic times. For this free information, call the Accredited Debt Relief Hotline now. Call 800-266-7171. 800-266-7171. That's 800-266-7171. We do have 811 traffic and transit now. Two hours. Still loaded up in claims on the southbound side of the Benwick Expressway. This is all because of repair work. It is off of the Whiteson Expressway right up to Northern Boulevard. It is causing some bumper to bumper delays. Now here's what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels. Looks like that accident heading into the Bronx of the Whitestone Bridge has been cleared away. And we had some fire department activity heading into Staten Island at the Bayonne Bridge. That has also been cleared. No delays at the Outerbridge Crossing and the Gothel Bridge also looks to be in really good state. Now we're going to take it over to Brooklyn right now because we do have some slowdowns and delays. And this is on the BQE. This is jam-packed both ways by Lansing Avenue. And then we had an earlier accident uh, by the Williamsburg Bridge on the BQE on the eastbound side. It's been cleared, but uh, there is some construction through that area. But the road work further east on the ramp to the eastbound Grand Central, that has been cleared away. And all the construction at the outbound to the Washington Bridge also cleared just a little bit slow from the South Bronx Expressway approach that that should ease out pretty soon. Frequently rules in effect today. City wide on the other end of the sunshine out there for this morning. Kathleen, it doesn't feel that bad if you're heading out the door, but things will change as the day progresses. It will become much more humid, especially into this afternoon. I'll lead to a thunderstorm or two, especially later this afternoon into the first part of tonight. Those storms later on today can bring the risk for damaging wind gusts as well as flooding downpours, especially in a few Hudson Valley and northwest Jersey suburbs. Our high today up to 85, but back in that humidity that will return later today, it will feel more like near 90 degrees. Warm and sticky later tonight, low of 72 Tomorrow, some sun, hot day, a little bit lower humidity with a high approaching 90. Uh, still somewhat humid into Monday. Warm, early sun gave away to some clouds. That'll lead to a late day thunderstorm with a high of 84. And breezy and humid for Tuesday with a couple showers and a thunderstorm likely with a high of 81. Currently, it is 72 degrees in Central Park. We have relative humidity at 68%. Repeating the current temperature is 72, going up to 85 this afternoon in Midtown. I'm at meteorologist Matt Benz on New York's weather station. 1010 winds on 92.3 FM. There is word of two recalls over listeria bacteria involving ice cream and fruit. The ice cream is a soft serve made in Brooklyn. Rio Kosher says its soft serve on-the-go ice cream and sorbet cups could be contaminated. Bacteria can cause serious or even fatal infections in children, older people, and anybody with a weakened immune system. FDA says two illnesses have been reported, so the company is recalling all of its eight-ounce soft serve on-the-go products made up to August 4th. The other recall involves kiwi fruit. The distributor of Desperate Kiwi Fruit says test showed it had more than it's New York fruit shipped to New York and more than a dozen other states have the bacteria. No one has become ill in that one so far. We have news time 814. Coming up, the Yanks get away in the Mets. Well, don't. Searching for a car? Major World of Long Island City after 40 years of business is moving into a new building. So we need to reduce inventory to make room for new arrivals. Our goal is to move 100 cars this week. We will accept any reasonable offer on any pre-owned car on our lot with no games or tricks with vinyl prices. This is the perfect time for you to buy. Don't wait. Stop by today. Open like seven days a week. Major World! 4340 Northern Boulevard, Long Island City, Queens. Close to the 59 Street Street. Call 1-800-MAJOR-AUTO or go to MajorWorld.com. The crack of the bat, the roar of the crowd. It's the 75th annual Artists and Writers Charity Softball Game in East Hampton. 
Saturday, August 19th. Check out our brand new ball field at Herrick Park. Batting practice, 12 noon, game time, 2 p.m. Raffles, prizes, special anniversary caps and t-shirts. Come for the family fun and to support our local charities. Let's celebrate and make it great. <laughs> Queen is used to M815. Now Mark Renee with sports. Well, Kathleen outside of Graham Gano's three field goals. Not too many highlights in the Giants' preseason opener last night in Detroit, but there was this. First and ten Giants from the 14. DeVito back to throw. Walks it into the end zone. Touchdown! Is that Tweedy? Indeed it is. It's Tommy to Tommy. Here we go. Jersey to Jersey. Baldettino and Sean O'Hara on the span. The former Don Bosco prep high school teammate took it up for Big Blue's only touchdown in an eventual 21-16 loss. Baseball, the Yankees a winner in Miami, 9-4. Manager Aaron Boone said a lot of good things happened after Nestor Cortez had to go back on the injured list with more rotator cuff trouble. Starting with swinging the bats off, of, off a really good starting pitcher, too. Um, you know, we, we were able to hit him hard, and that's, that's, I mean, that's a guy that's in the middle of a really good season, another really good season. So that was really good to see up, up and down guys hitting the ball hard against them and having real quality at bat. Talking about the Marlins, Jesus Lazardo, including home runs from Anthony Volpe and Aaron Judge. The Yanks also had five relievers pitch a bullpen game with Randy Vasquez getting the win. Meantime, the Mets did not win. The one two to Vogel back is in there for a call strike three. And the ball game is over. The fourth strikeout of Daniel Vogel back tonight punctuates a Mets one-sided loss to the Atlanta Braves in the opener of this four-game series. Now we rose in WCBS wrapping up a 7-0 defeat that saw the Mets go over 12 with runners in scoring position and leave 14 men on base. WNBA Liberty beat Chicago 89-73. Women's World Cup soccer last to the quarterfinals now late in the second half. England in front of Columbia 2-1. Australia beat France overnight on penalty kick 7-6. Mark and A. 1010 Wind Sports on 92.3 FM. Wind Zeke Time 817. Well, it's the return of the supermodels. For the first time in more than three decades, the world's original supermodels will appear together on the September cover of Vogue. Why are Cindy Crawford, Naomi Campbell, Linda Evangelista, and Christy Turlington back on the front? They're promoting their new docuseries called The Supermodels out next month on Apple+. Plus. The ladies last appeared together on the cover of British Vogue back in January 1990. The new issue's out August 22nd. That is correspondent Stacey Lynn reporting. 72 degrees, sunny, going up to 85 today in Midtown. Winds News Time 818, our top story, next. Recently, a new client called me and started by saying, Mr. Morgan, I really need your help, but I'm just a nobody. Those words stunned me, and I immediately called him back. And we're now helping him and his family after a terrible accident. I'm John Morgan of Morgan Morgan. Everybody who comes to our firm at their time of need is a somebody. I grew up poor, but my grandmother was like a queen to us. At Morgan & Morgan, our goal is to level the playing field for you and your family at your time of need. The insurance company has unlimited money and resources. You need a firm who can fight them toe-to-toe. -to -toe. For right at 30 years, we have fought them in courtrooms throughout America. Our results speak for themselves. And always remember this, everybody is a somebody, and nobody is a nobody. Visit ForThePeople.com to learn about our firm. Morgan & Morgan, For the People. Britbox, the best of British telly. Same brilliant series you can only find on Britbox. Unlock acclaimed favourites like Vera and Playhouse. 